I'm Annie Stores. welcome back to my channel. In today's video I've got a haul to share with you and it's a haul from Le Creuset which I'm super excited about. Now Le Creuset is one of my favourite brands for cookware and bakeware and over the years whenever we've had to replace something in the kitchen I've tried to replace it with sort of better quality items such as Le Creuset and it, it has taken us like 13 years to actually start upgrading pieces in our collection. So because of the recent Black Friday offers, I was able to take advantage of quite a big discount. So they had 30% off, which meant I was able to splash out on quite a few pieces. Um, so I'll share those with you. And yeah, I'm just excited to see them, unbox them and start using them. So this is how everything has arrived and it's been really well packaged. It had even more sort of bubble wrap with it that I've taken out but the bubble wrap here is really thick. So I think everything has been really well wrapped, which is good, but the box is super heavy. And um, God knows how the delivery driver managed to get it sort of on and off the van. But let me start unwrapping everything and I'll show you the bits that I've got. So the first thing to share with you is the ultimate festive baking set that we bought and it was priced at 175 pounds so this wasn't included in the 30 percent off because it was already discounted i think from um over 200 pounds so it already had a really good offer on it and it had loads of pieces with it so i'll show you what came with that and i'm just super excited to actually start baking and using everything so the first thing that came with it was this bunt tin or as it's called Kugel hop, although I'm sure someone will tell me that I've pronounced that wrong. So it's a deep bunt tin with the hole in the centre there for that traditional bunt tin shape. And I think, um, I've never made this before, but Nigella Lawson, she has like a Christmas vanilla cake and she does it, it her tin was like much more festive. Whereas I think this would actually work really well with it because of the indentations on it. It looked like um, Nigella's recipe which I'll stick a link in if you haven't seen it and it is all non-stick with a lifetime guarantee which again I know it's expensive but actually the lifetime guarantee is really good to help sort of with the cost of that if you know what I mean as in if anything was to ever get damaged or needed replacing then you would be able to utilize the guarantee provided it was you know part of a floor or, or something like that so yeah, I'm excited to bake some cakes with this, especially over Christmas. I definitely think I could do something festive with this. The second piece that came in that range was a springform cake tin in a 27 centimetre size. Now I make a lot of cheesecakes and this is perfect for cheesecakes because of the springform release. And because again, it's non-stick, that should really help with baking. So I'm excited to use this. It does look really big though. I'm not sure our current cake tin is as big as this actually. Um, but yeah, that will be really good, I think, for cheesecakes or cakes. And yeah, I think that one will be very useful. Next up is a quiche tin and it's a loose bottomed quiche tin. And what size is this? This is 32 centimeters and Again, it's just really nice and with all the ridges around the side, it will make a really nice like pastry base, whether it's quiche or a tart or something else yummy, I think. I'm definitely going to have to raid my cookbooks um, after this just so that I can see what I can actually start using all my cookware for. I have to admit, I've never made a quiche before, but who doesn't love a quiche? So actually, I think this will probably inspire me to do some more cooking or baking now that I feel like I've got like more equipment to use. So yeah, excited to use this one. And also it came with lots of trays. So this one here is quite a large tray. So this is a cookie sheet, um, but will also be useful, I think, for sort of many other sort of baking type bits. And it is like quite flat of as you can see there with just the little handle at the edge there and this is 38 centimeters so yeah it will be really good i think for cookies or biscuits and again with that non-stick surface i think everything would just be so much easier to use something that again feels quite good quality and very heavy so actually i think this will give a really good bake on biscuits or cookies so yeah i can never say no to a cookie and they're just so easy to make as well really quick and easy to do so that one will be good for that. 
We have also a six cup tart tray. So again, this would be, I guess, for any mini versions of any tarts or even quiches again. And again, I've never had a specific tart tray, um, but that will be really nice to use, I think. And again, some of the things I haven't made before or, or baked before, I guess, is because I didn't have like the specialist equipment for it. So I'm definitely feeling inspired, even just like looking at some of this stuff. So can't wait to get stuck in. And then we have a 12 cup mini muffin tray. So this is shallow, but it has got 12. So they are miniature as it says. Now, out of all of the pieces of this range, I probably think this would be the less useful because I don't think I've ever made anything in miniature size before. But again, I think that's just going to have to encourage me to read through all my baking books and see if there is anything that I could uh, utilize this for. I'm sure there is. <laughs> And then we have a 12 cup bun tray. So again, this is quite shallow, not quite like the cupcake trays, but I use these often for things like Yorkshire pudding. So I'll be glad to replace my really old and knackered one with something that um, is going to last. So this one I think will probably be super useful. And then finally, we have just a Swiss roll tray or it calls a, it says it's a jelly roll pan. Uh, which feels very Americanized to me. Now we actually use these, we have already quite a few of these and we just use them as baking trays because they are good quality, they are non-stick. Now these aren't dishwasher suitable. That is the only issue that we have is that we then have to hand wash things when we sort of don't often do that. But that is just to make sure that the non-stick surface stays, stays intact. And we've had our um, trays for, well, over a couple of years now and they're in, still in really good condition because we hand wash them all. So I think that is a good tip when you're looking on the Le Creuset website is just have a look what is dishwasher safe versus not because these absolutely will be destroyed by the dishwasher. So bear that in mind. But yeah, just a re another really useful um, tray. So that was everything that came in the festive bakeware set. And for £175, we were just so impressed with the price of that. Um, so I really jumped at the offer because, yeah, a lot of my bakeware is quite old and needed replacing. And now I've got all nice new and shiny things, which I can't wait to start playing with. The next thing we ordered, and it's really heavy, is the cast iron reversible grill. And I think it's uh, 47 centimetres, so it will fit across our double hobs. And this was priced at £165, so let me open it and show you it. Now, I absolutely hate the feel of this, so even picking it up, it feels horrible. It's like terracotta pot, which just absolutely goes through me. So once this is on the hob, I'm pretty sure it's going to stay on the hob. So as I mentioned, it is reversible, so you've got the ridge side there and then the smooth side there. It is really heavy, so I'm going to put it down. Um, and yes, £165. Is a lot of money but I just can see us getting so much use out of this for cooking meat and um, cooking um, halloumi that's something we're going to try tonight because we're going to have nanfos which is our fake version of nando's or nando's at home so I'm really looking forward to grilling the chicken on this and also the halloumi and I just think as I mentioned with the size it will fit nicely across our double hobs and because there are three of us I think it would just be a really good size for cooking. Now this one is dishwasher safe, but I think a lot of people don't, or or try and suggest that you shouldn't actually wash um, cast iron griddle pans like this because of the flavor. Now we're definitely not those kinds of people. We always obviously wash things after cooking it, um, but I will have a read through the instructions just to see the sort of best use for this because at 165 pounds, it is something we are going to want for a lifetime. So we just need to make sure that we look after it and follow the instructions just so that we don't damage it in any way. So yeah, this was a really good buy. And like I say, I can see I was getting a lot of use out of this. Now next is a cast iron skillet, which was priced at £125, and this will be so useful. Now I have a cookbook, which is America's Test Kitchen cookbook, and it is American, and they seem to cook a lot in skillets, and we didn't have one, so I was really excited to get this, because I think there's a lot of useful recipes that start on the hob and then end up in the oven. So it's good to have something that can go on both. So let me unbox it and I'll show you what colour we got. 
So the Le Creuset range that we've got in the house currently, we've gone with lots of different colours actually because we quite like rainbow theme. Now the main colour that we have is teal, but then we also have cream, we also have red, we also have a lot of their um, actual rainbow range in terms of like egg cups and things like that. So with the skillet, we actually went for all black because I just thought it looked like really slick in all black. So I'm really happy with this. Now, what size is this? So the size of this is 26 centimeters. And as per all the other ranges, it has got that lifetime guarantee. It is suitable for all heat sources, as I mentioned. So it will be able to um, start dishes on the hob and then put them in the oven to finish them off. And I just think this is just gonna cook things really nicely because it's so, obviously so solid and so heavy. And yeah, I'm just looking forward to all the nice dishes I can make with this. So I'm very happy with this purchase. Now the final purchase that we got is the cast iron shallow casserole, which is really heavy. So this was priced at £240 and is really what inspired the whole like shopping order because this was the uh, piece that I really, really wanted. Um, I do have a actual casserole, it isn't the Crusade, that will be a future upgrade purchase but it's, it does the job. But the shallow ones is so heavy. I've seen them so much recently on a lot of the cooking shows that I watch and I, I think a lot of the recipes that I use would be really nice um, and they'll, they'll work really well with the um, shallow casserole. So again, I'll unbox it and show you what we've got. So this is one that we did get in teal. Oh my gosh, it really is heavy. And we got the bigger size pan. So this is the 30 centimeter pan. So as you can see, it is quite big. But a lot of the dishes that we make are sort of like home cooks, like family meals. So this will be perfect size. So let me just take the lid off. So as you can see, it is shallow. Um, but I just think that's gonna be perfect for a lot of what we're gonna use this for. And I just love the colour. As I mentioned, teal is like one of the main colours that we have in our Le Creuset range. So I wanted to kind of stick with this. Although I was very tempted by the violet. We don't have anything um, from the violet range and it's really nice colour. So it's got a very heavy handle. Um, and yeah, the whole range is just so heavy. <laughs> so this one is dishwasher safe um, as well as being suitable for all heat sources which just makes it super useful and especially because it can go in the dishwasher as well so you know if you're making stews or anything that usually takes quite a lot of like scrubbing so that'll be much easier to just pop that in the dishwasher so I'm most excited to start using this I just need to think about the first dish that I'm going to cook with it so altogether, my order was £546 and that was after the 30% discount. So we're really happy with everything that we got actually, because I, I think we worked it out that there was a saving there of sort of over £200. So, you know, if we're going to spend that kind of money on cookware, then better to do it in a Black Friday sale when we can get 30% off. So really happy with that. Um, it was free postage as well and it arrived within a week so really happy with the delivery on that also but like I say the poor postman who had to deliver that because god knows how he got it in and out of the van. So what I'll do is just pop in a little clip from our first time using it. I think I'm going to go for the um, reversible cast iron grill as I say I'm going to do our nanfos tonight so I'm really looking forward to doing that on like a nice surface and something that will hopefully help us to further recreate Nando's by giving us like the little ridge lines in it. So again, love Le Creuset, massive fan of Le Creuset and we've always been very impressed by their guarantee and the actual quality of the items. So usually obviously wouldn't be spending over £500 and um, certainly not on sort of pots and pans. However, they are things that will last an absolute lifetime and like I say, as we've kind of got older and the many years that we've been living together, we have been slowly upgrading and updating our kitchen range. So really happy to get some extra bits to add to that. And then, yeah, I think any future purchases possibly would be like the deep um, casserole pan because like I said, I don't have a Le Creuset one. I've also um, started buying the Le Creuset saucepans and I absolutely love those. So again, as our old saucepans need replacing, I will replace them with the Le Creuset ones.
I hope you enjoyed this video. Please let me know if you've got any questions. They do all come with these really useful booklets which explain how exactly to use your new Le Creuset cookware, exactly what you should do to make sure it keeps its quality and you know which heat sources you can cook it on and whether or not obviously it's dishwasher safe. So these are really useful booklets which I'll make sure to sort of file with our like homeware stuff. So yeah, just really excited to get into sort of cooking and baking now, especially with Christmas just around the corner. So thanks again for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe and I'll see you soon.